believing in better is a mindset to pursue excellence in everything you do. It's welcoming opportunities to improve your farm and knowing that your best season is simply a starting point for this season. Precision planting is for farmers like you who believe in better. Huh? Well, I'm getting ready to start. Well, I started one in the irrigation the corn one, and I'm gonna start the bean one here. Come down and check the pump because you don't want to be dry duck because then tear up the pump and it's uh it's a ways on the bank. This might be a little difficult to get in. We'll see what we can do. I think we're going to need a backhoe. This thing's too stuck. We're back to the farm. We got the backhoe. The cat backhoe. It's very nice once you get there. It's just extremely slow getting there. Downhill. That's where we make hay. Much easier. Much better. So, they replacing points on the starter? Yes. They must have got a little dirty. Yeah, can't imagine how. I don't know how that happened. Put a box 10 feet in the air, you wouldn't think it would, but it sure does. It's like it arced in there a little. Oh boy, yeah. Full fried. Fried chicken. Yeah, fried chicken good. Fried points on starter, no good. No. There goes nothing. George is down there where the pump is. See that open so whatever's in there will go through it. There's some pressure. Finally. Because we got our filter there. I've seen in another episode that way it goes. A low pressure system. It don't look that impressive, but she's running. Can I go for a ride? Yeah. Done with work for the day, so we decided to check out Lazy Bee Farms uh, Bridgeport. They got some organic beans here, right? Yeah. Yep. No huge spray on these, of course. They're gonna electrocute them to death. Think we'll fry the drone? Yeah, we'll find out, huh? <laughs> Basically got a big generator on the back driven by a PTO that runs up to the front with a wire. Is that all right? Yeah. That's right. Got anything to add? No. Not yet.
So these weeds will be dead here in about 20 minutes, right? Start yeah. folding over? Yeah. Yep. You talk more when the camera's not on. <laughs> Everybody does. Well, the clouds have been out all day, so I thought we were going to be able to see some lightning strikes out of it, but the sun's too bright, so we can't see it. But it's still a pretty cool deal. Electrocutes it, use that instead of spray. This field right here is the field they did last week. You can see how all the weeds are brown and where they got electrocuted to death. Big thank you to Lazy Bee Farms for letting us come and uh, run a little drone on you. The front does electrocuting and the back is the ground for it. I'm working on the combines. So, David's combine, I'll just give you a little rundown. Toolbox for sections, tools. So I got that installed. Sticks out a little bit because of the rail. And so you can open it up. Put the farm radio installed inside there. Put a camera in the hopper and on the hitch. So, it's a camera on the hitch now. I take all the wiring off the unload auger and run it to the hitch. And then I, there was already one ran to the uh, hopper tank on a Denny's cop combine. Let's get up here. Whoa, man, about fell. <laughs> Gonna move the sensors up. This one, at least, for sure. Move it up so it ain't constantly going off for them 300 bushel to the acre days. And then, um, yeah, got the camera. Looks good. That's what I've been doing. I don't even run these things and I get stuck doing all this. So hopefully, I got it right. I haven't put a whole lot on here the last two days. I'm not sure where my GoPro is. But i uh, been doing a lot of maintenance around. Garrett's been cleaning up spray trailers and stuff. David's got the bean irrigations going in Indiana. Um, Jay's been working on the combines. And me and George uh, scared the crap out of Bethany. Initiation time. I'm not going to open it. You're not going to open it? Why what? It makes makes good video. <laughs> it's initiation. <laughs> She's now one of the new office employees, so we'll probably be doing that a lot. Out here doing some bin maintenance on the bin maintenance, getting ready for fall. And this u has got a pretty good hole in it, so get out this plate and try and patch her. I didn't get much of doing it, but finished product. You're on the other side of the light. Yeah, maybe. Maybe you can see it. Less of a hole anyways. Over here at the Indiana Bend site. About the, we're going to be installing a drive over, single axle scale. Uh, it reads it as it dries over then it adds all the uh, axles up. We'll have a reader over there Scale be right here dig in a hole first At 
they have a 15 foot by 10 foot hole it's a four foot deep unless you got good ground underneath it they don't have to be that deep we're hoping for two <laughs> Old Doug hit a little bit of electric line. No big deal, not too shocking. Get this on video. I got it. That old 75 year old guy down here, 25 year old guys up there watching. Get that on there. I don't know what he's talking about. These elderly people need to stay active or they get old. <laughs> Line splice, just waiting on some conduit to splice it. Here is the scale. Can't remember how much they said it weighed. I want to say 19,000 pounds, so. Now for one axle, there'll be a reader up there, total it up, and then uh, go to a cloud-based system, I think, to have uh, all backed up and also have a printout. Other than that, splice. Yeah, Thing away, nineteen thousand pounds, that's what they said? Twenty. Twenty. Nineteen thousand seven hundred. Yeah, the exact number. Of course. That's some record. I think he'll get it. I think he'll pick no, it up. Front wheels off the ground yet. I think he's gonna get it. <laughs> Look, how many yards of concrete's in that thing? Five. Five? Five yards. Man, you're on top oh, of that. Yeah, I'm always on top of it. I'm gonna pull the truck out of the way. All in and level. Wiring and drain for the pit and all that. We'll be done another day. Yep. Same kind of sales going in on our big project. Yeah? Yeah. Weekly bin update. I have the time lapse across the way because I thought they're gonna start building stuff. But next week, always definitely next week. Pits all poured. That's where the dump will be, the leg. That's where the uh, the frame will mount for the hopper. That'll be above it. Poured for the little scale shed there. Heading home again. That's it for this week. I lost this GoPro and on Tuesday, and I just found it today. So I'm I'm really happy because oh, me and Jay got a bet going. If I lose this GoPro before the end of the year. I owe him 50 bucks. If I don't lose it, he owes me that much. So I was getting worried there for a little bit, but I found it. But that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. See you next week. And if you want your average merch, average-farms.myshop5.com. Here comes the time lapse.